Tendulkar went to Ravi Shastri. Now, you've got Tendulkar at probably... I'll talk in the old language because I don't know centimetres so well. But Tendulkar would be five foot seven maximum. You've got Ravi Shastri would be six foot three, six foot three and a half. So a lot taller player. Tendulkar has a, a very high regard for Ravi Shastri and his cricket knowledge. But also, he would remember that Ravi Shastri made 200 in Shane Warne's first test match, you see. So here's a man who's got a fair bit of experience about playing Shane Warne. So he goes to, to Ravi and he says, right, when, ten, when Warne comes and bowls into the rough, into the footmarks, how do I handle it? And Ravi gives him some very good advice. Ravi says, well, I handled it defensively, but I've got a much longer reach than you and I could get out there and smother the spin. He said, you haven't got that option because you're so much shorter. He said, you're going to have to find an aggressive option to counter Shane Warne when he comes around the wicket into the footmarks. That's all he said to him. Very good advice, though. So off goes Tendulkar. He goes to the MRF, to the, to the Pace Foundation where Dennis Lilly coaches, and they've got all sorts of different pitches there. So he goes, he takes, v, um, uh, what's his name, Shiva Ramakrishnan, uh, Laxman Shiva Ramakrishnan, the leg spinner who played for India in the, uh, in the World uh, Championship Series out here when India won. Very good leg spinner. He gets him to bowl and Tendulkar goes down right on the spot where he reckons that Warner is going to bowl into the rough and he gets his sprigs and he roughs it up. He does this for four days. He bats against Laxman Shiva Ramakrishnan and he, he works out a method to cope with Shane Warne. Now we go into the first test match. First innings, Shane Warne gets Tendulkar, trying to drive through the onside, top edge, goes to backward point and he gets caught for four, I think. Second innings, Tendulkar comes in, the game's on the line. Australia lead by not many on the first innings, 30, 40, something like that. And they've got away to a good start, so now India are two down and they're in the lead by probably something just over 100. But the game is right on the line. And we've had three and a half days of play where it has been like this the whole way, just like a well-balanced uh, seesaw, just going like that. And you don't get test matches that do that for three and a half days too often. Here's Tendulkar on 50. Here comes Warren around the wicket. And I say to myself, sitting in the commentary box, this is the game. You've got one team's champion bowling to the other team's champion and whichever champion wins that battle, his team will probably win the war. Warne comes around the wicket, Tendulkar goes bang, hits him for six over mid-wicket. Bang, hits him one bounce for four through mid-wicket. And he really takes to Warne. And he does it, as Ravi Shastri suggested he would have to, by taking an aggressive option. Sachin Tendulkar makes 155. He, he dominates Warne on that occasion. India go on to win the Test match. It was, it was marvellous batting and I admired it for two things. The preparation that went into uh, the preparation and planning that went into that innings, and then the courage to actually do it when the game is on the line. You, I mean, you might be doing that to Laxman Shiva Ramakrishnan in the nets, but the game isn't on the line then. To have the guts to do it in the game when you know that if you do that and the ball goes straight up in the air, one billion people in India are all going to say, You dummy, that takes a lot of courage, and to pull it off needs a lot of skill. That was. That was a fantastic innings. Too short. The man was on the fence and he's come in to point. And Tendulkar's first boundary. Six runs from the over, 138 for two. But it's always going to be four. Tendulkar's not the man to let a short ball go. I think this is the big difference when Warren bowls to India than he does against other countries. These balls get punished. He's gone for it and he's cleared mid-wicket. And he's gone again. And that's a really big one. Goes all the way. And Tendulkar is opening out here at the Chidambaram Stadium. The lead is now past 100. Well, he's tossed the ball up in the right slot. There is no protection, as we've been saying. There's no deep mid-wicket. There is a long gone, all right. But Tendulkar plays this shot well. <laughs> Aussie envy, India's pride. Take off on a television commercial. And that's gone as well. Not a good time to be Robertson, a great time to be Tendulkar. 
One just had a word with Robertson. He might as well have been telling him what to do in that situation because he was in a similar one yesterday. Once again, a bit short, and this is only because Sachin Tendulkar had hit the previous delivery, which had been tossed up and further to the batsman over mid-wicket. So Gavin Robertson trying to compensate for that. Roman. And no man protecting the mid-wicket fence. Beats the man a gully. Well, he's uh, used the cross back once again. He's obviously decided that uh, if the ball is going to be pitched up there for the big hit, even if it's going to be against the turn, he's going to go for it. Yes, this man doesn't like the game to stagnate. And this is a very, very interesting period now. As I say, Tendulkar's wicket would throw this game back in the balance again. Oh, he's gone after him again. And he did a big one. But into the stands. Now, how much of this battle kit is being caught out there? And how much is it Tenduka telling one, like, that's what I'll do to you? Tenduka's had some lovely shots of the front foot. I'm not quite sure I hit that as you'd have liked to, but it still carried a long, long way. First bounce on the advertising boards. And this might be the 10th over for limited overs game, the way he's betting. What a shot. This is the genius of the man. Well, that's well hit. Six. Absolutely top-class use of the feet. Just a little bit of air, but he was down the pitch, Sachin Tendulkar, and although there is a fielder at long gone, and the ball's turning, he's made the shot look ridiculously easy. 15th test century to Tendulkar. And what an innings this has been. Beautifully. Right outside the off stump, same treatment. <laughs> well, that's a lovely shot from uh, Tendulkar. Just so gentle to show that uh, you can play a delicate shot as well as you can hit those powerful ones. He's from Melbourne, so I think I'll leave you to assess them. Oh, he's done him again. And Mark was going to be very, very frustrated by this because Tanuga just keeps tickling him away to third man for four. Tanuga brought up his 50 when India brought up their 200. He now brings up his 150 while India bring up 400. The Indian players coming from the ground because of the declaration and... A standing ovation by a near enough full house here on a Monday afternoon for Tendulkar.